Today we're gonna to talk about how to be fast and efficient on your reloads. Let's do it. What is up guys, Will Workman here with Workman Protection, here to give you the skills, the tools, and the mindset to protect yourself and your family. If you haven't yet, don't forget to like and subscribe down below so that we can get this content past the algorithm. This video is sponsored by Eclipse Holsters. Eclipse Holsters has truly changed the way we shop for holsters forever. Their holsters are completely customizable with a ton of different patterns, colors, and belt clips, and even custom aluminum washers. They meet all of my holster safety requirements requirements and they are custom made right here in America. The best part is that your holster will ship within just three days. Quality custom holsters, zero wait time, and a lifetime guarantee. Check them out at EclipseHolsters.com. In this video, we're going to talk about how to be fast and efficient with your reload. So this is something that can be really challenging. Maybe your grip is solid, your sight picture is solid, you can shoot fast, you can stay on target, but when you go to reload under pressure, everything falls by the wayside. It's a different type of skill. It's a big mechanical thing that you're doing with a gun and it can be really challenging to do under pressure. So let's talk about the easiest, simplest way to do fast reloads. What's the big challenge with doing reloads from concealment? It is the concealment itself, right? Yep. When I have my gun out, I'm going to work and I need to reload, I can't just go down and grab a mag, right? Because I don't have access to it. So I have to clear the garment in the easiest way that I can. And for me, instead of bringing it all the way up and then trying to dig down for it or maybe it bouncing back and getting in the way again, I simply grab the garment and move it around just enough to get my hand on that mag. So as I do that, I move it out of the way and I'm already in position to grab it with these two fingers. And the way I want to grab a mag is I want to reach down and grab it so that when I pull it out, I have my pointer finger on the mag pointing straight up towards the end of the mag. I want to be as efficient as possible. So as I bring the gun up, I fire one round. I should have turned that camera on. Let's do that. How dumb are you? All right, let's try that again. So as I draw my gun, I come out, I press the trigger and I'm reloading. Before I hit that magazine button, I wanna already be going down here for my magazine. So I'm dropping that mag as I'm clearing this garment, getting my hand on this magazine, bringing it up, and I'm looking at it as it's going in. I know a lot of people will say, stay target focused, right? You hear that a lot. Stay target focused when you're reloading. Hold up. Wait a minute. The problem is if this guy's coming at me and I'm looking at him, what can I do right now? Absolutely nothing until I reload this gun. So I'm looking at the target and when I get here, this is my number one task. I can't use this until I get this in it. Science. So I'm gonna bring it up. I'm gonna look at it so that I get a straight shot in there. I'm gonna hit my mag release even as I'm coming out and get back on target and fire again. All right, so let's do it a few times, not necessarily fast, but just smooth and see what that looks like. So we've drawn our gun. All right, let's go again. Is it perfect every time? Absolutely not. Do things go wrong? Yes, sometimes I don't get a perfect grip on my mag and that slows me down a little bit. Sometimes I miss the mag release and have to hit it again. You can see that even at kind of that medium speed, right? Things go wrong, the mechanics don't work perfectly right, but that's still pretty darn fast. And the reason is I'm really focusing on going as smooth as possible rather than going as fast as possible. So let's put a timer on and see what kind of speed we can get. But first, if you are new to concealed carry or you're just trying to find a better way to conceal, then I wanna give you something that will really help you out. And that is my free guide to concealment. It's basically everything that I wish I knew when I first started carrying a gun and I wanna give it to you for free. So go check that out in the description down below. All right, here we go. I had the wrong mag. <sighs> this one was the full one. No, you messed it up. <laughs> You're stupid. All right, let's try that again. Stand by. Oh, 
Did that go perfectly smooth? No. Not even close, bud. I struggled a little bit to find the end of that magwell, and that was still draw and fire one, reload, fire one more in 372. So let's try it again and see if we can do better. Okay, so I'm gonna tell myself not to slow down, but to be more careful, to be more smooth. All right. So I struggled to find my dot on the last one and still three, five, five. Okay, that was a three, six, eight. So nothing crazy, but still good time. Was that fast? I thought that was fast. Was it fast? Was it? Yeah. All right, that was in 411. Definitely like to be under four seconds. So that one was slow. All right, that was in 374. All right, let's do one more. All right, that was 383. So again, does it go perfectly every time? No, but when you do it enough consistently, you notice the patterns that sometimes I get hung up on my garment. Sometimes I get hung up getting it in the magwell, which was definitely more my struggle today. Sometimes I miss the slide stop, right? So realizing, okay, there's a lot of mechanical things going on. And before I even try to go as fast as possible, I need to focus on doing that smoothly. So do it efficiently and smoothly before you try to do it fast and just really focus on doing all the mechanical things that you need to do in dry fire and then do them at the range and then start adding some speed. And I promise the speed will come when you start doing it consistently and efficiently. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe down below and check out my other content if you're into all things concealed carry. Until next time, be alert, stand firm in your faith, be strong, be courageous, and let all that you do be done in love. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.